If you want to start running A-B tests on your Shopify website, one of the best ways to do this is with Google Optimize, not only because it's closely integrated with Google Analytics, but also because it's free and it's become more powerful over time. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Google Optimize landing page. You can either go directly to this URL or you can just Google it. Of course, it's the first result. If you don't have a Google Optimize account, you can click start, start for free. If you already do, you click sign in and you'll end up with something that looks like this. I already have a Google Optimize account with multiple um, accounts in them. And so what that means is I just have a list. If you don't, then you'll probably have a blank and it has the create account button here. The next thing you want to do is create an account name. This is similar to Google Analytics where you want it to be descriptive so that if you decide to have multiple accounts over time, you know what's what. In this case, I'm just writing Google provisions and uh, or SIP provisions, which is the name of the store that I've set up for the case for this case study. And um, then you can write if you want something else. But this is just to remind me to delete this. All right. So you want to go ahead and you, it doesn't matter if you keep these checked or unchecked. It depends on what you feel about Google, if you want to share your info or not. Then you collect, select your country and agree to the terms. Next thing you do is click next. So this I usually use, it's just my um, web domain without any HTTPS or any other you know, symbols. And that just means you know, the con one container might be on your subdomain, the other one might be on your you know, main domain. And then you click create. It'll take a minute to load. And Google wants to to create your first experience. An experience in their language is just an A-B test, but I actually like to skip this step and start to get a jump on the actual optim or installation so that Optimize is speaking to Google Analytics smoothly and easily. The next thing you want to do is in that right sidebar, click link property. If you have multiple Google Analytics, Analytics accounts, then you will have a big scroll bar. Otherwise, your Google Analytics setup will be readily available. If you have a bunch, you just go and type in and search what you want. Make sure that you have the same UA I, you know, Google Analytics ID that you're using on your website. I'll show you how to make sure that that's happening. And then you want to make sure that this all website data is checked. If you're curious what things mean, just click the question mark and it tells you exactly what's going on. And we're linking. So then it's going to prompt you to add an optimized snippet for, to your site. Go ahead and get that over with. And what's happening here is Google Optimize decided to sort of combine Google Optimize with Google, um, with your actual Google Analytics installation. So if you look deeper here, and let me just zoom in a bit, then you can see that here's our Google Analytics tag with our ID. And then it's showing here is our Google Optimize ID. And it's all combined in one script. So I just select all and Command C or Control C if you're on Windows, Command C on Mac. And you can go ahead and learn more about these if you want to know about that. I'm just going to open and right click this anti flicker snippet because we're going to need it shortly. I'll talk about that in a minute and click done. So the next thing you want to do is go over to your Shopify account and log in and you'll want to go to online store and preferences. So here you can see exactly what you have as your Google Analytics installation. If you have something here, then um, that's probably the most common way that Google Analytics is installed on Shopify. and it doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. So if you try to add custom JavaScript to here, what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up having two Google Analytics um, 
scripts or Shopify is going to say that looks funny and they're just going to clear it all out. So you don't want that, right? Um, what you actually want to do, sorry, is um, you want here, sorry, I'm in my install. Uh, let me just go back here. So you want to if you have that already, ideally, is you would add this GA measurement ID. Right now, with Shopify, as of March 2020, it's almost April, um, if you add just that script below the Google Analytics tracking code via this advanced and additional analytics JavaScript, Shopify will clear it out which makes it a little bit more difficult to install Google Optimize, which is kind of a bummer, but don't worry, it's only gonna take about 30 seconds to resolve. So instead of pasting your code there, you wanna delete it and hit save. Then you go to themes. So we're basically wiping out the uh, default Shopify GA configuration and we're adding it manually because we want to add this tracking code so that you get both GA and optimize together. And then you want to go to theme.liquid and note that uh, Shopify will open probably your most recent um, theme file or liquid file that you've been editing. So you might have to, you know, actually go and find it and you can search here to get, you know, different pages. Um, so then it instructs you to put it below the head. So I command F when I want to find something in a web page and I just look right away for that head tag and I let them go ahead and do the UTF-8 and all of that and I put it actually right below there and above the favicon script. So the reason why you have this at the head is because when your website code loads, you want the Google um, Optimize to fire more quickly so that it knows which version of which you know test to load. So it says you know you want to do that, install that, and hit done when you you know make sure that you follow the directions. And also here, you hit save, and it makes sure it says asset saved. And that means you're all saved and you're ready to go. So you want to check that this is working. And we're going to check again in the Google Optimize environment. But I just like to do this just to make sure that everything's looking OK. So you then again use that command or control F UA dash, oops, UA dash. Um, and you look here. OK, here's that tag that we just installed. Global site tag with Google Analytics. Great. And then also it has our optimize ID. So we are now successfully installed. So I am going to, and you see the link and then you're ready to go. Let's create an experience. So I have another video where I walk you through more details of the experience. Um, I'm just gonna set up something really, really, um, basic for the purposes of making sure you have your installation set up properly. So home page test shop language is I'm just going to add some shop language to the home page and then a B test just means you're testing one variant of a page against another one. And then um, if you have more traffic or whatever, then you might choose, you know, other kinds of tests here. And then you want to figure out or oops, sorry, you want to figure out which page you want to test. So you, I usually just navigate to the page that I want to test and, um, oh, I said home page in my test name. So I'm going to stick with this home page here. And then you add a URL. Um, and then once you have that URL, um, just note, like if you have an invalid domain, um, then it won't, this blue, this button won't turn blue. Um, so check and make sure you have a name and stuff and if you're like having trouble turning that blue. Um, so then you want to, you can have, you know, different variants um, and variant one will be 
shop language added, oops, and done. And this is just a description. So right, you have 50% of the people are gonna go to original, 50% are gonna go to my shop language added. And again, go to my other video for how to edit. Um, but basically you can just go in here and say, you know, click what you want, hit edit element, edit text, um, shop lots here, you know, whatever. And then you click done. And then, you know, you can also edit different stuff and you can say, I want to edit and remove that completely. And then I say, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. You can hit undo or redo there. And then it shows you how many changes you made. Again, if you're doing A-B testing, you probably know that you don't want to have too many um, different things going on because you don't know what actually affected the change that you wanted. So then the next thing you do is you wanna make sure that the page targeting matches the page that you just edited. I haven't ever had a problem with that, but it's good to just double check. Again, it's the homepage, so we're good. You can select who actually gets um, a B tested. So you might want to do only people who were served via Google ads or a UTM parameter, or like, you know, if you have a custom campaign going or people who are only in a specific state, you would test. And then you add a description. Usually here I add the goal or the hypothesis that I have about the test. And then here we get to the gold. So here we want to make sure that we're looking at the correct Google Analytics ID that we're tracking, and then we want to run diagnostics to make sure that our optimized installation is working correctly. And here it says, optimize is correctly installed, but our anti-flicker snippet is not found. All right, so if you've ever been to a website and you've seen that, you know, maybe it has a homepage slider and it just like flickers for a second. It probably means, well, it could mean multiple things, but sometimes it means that they're running an A-B test and that it's kind of like figuring out which one to load. And so the flicker snip snippet um, prevents that from happening. Um, so it's, you just click on this anti-flicker snippet and then you want to take this and command C on Mac and control C on um, Windows. And you want to, you're gonna replace the container ID with where it says comp container ID here with your optimized container ID. Um, and then it says that, and you can always just, you know, read this, but that's why I'm watching, teaching you during video, you know, we're gonna put this in again at the head. So you will go back to your Shopify theme file and you look for your um, Google Analytics slash Google Optimize script and right above it, you put this anti-flicker snippet and you look for your optimize ID here and you just copy and paste it. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can go back to your Google optimize page and you can go, I'm just gonna show you here this um, container ID here, right, right here. So it's the same thing. And sorry about that. And you, yep. So it's just the same thing here. Either way, whichever one you you copy is same thing. Oops, sorry. And um, then you hit save. So now we have anti flicker snippet and Google Analytics and Google Optimize. So one thing I like to do just to make sure that everything is good is I go into my Google Analytics account when I'm on my home page and um, you look and it says right now that one person is on the home page and that's because that's me 
And if it says two people and you, you know, you, no one is looking at your site, it means you have your Google Analytics code there twice and that's going to mess up all your tracking. Um, and that's probably the most common thing that, that will get messed up if you, you know, forgot and you didn't identify it before, and now you have two scripts firing. Um, so then, you know, we have this shop language and we see we ran that first test. Let's run the diagnostics again to make sure that now it says, okay, optimize this setup and so is your anti-flicker snippet. There you go, no major issues. So you can go back to your details and congratulations, you now have all the power of Google Optimize in your hands. So I always like to receive email notifications because it's great and again, you know, traffic allocation is just how many people are seeing this and when does this test of, or A-B test slash um, experience load when your page loads. And then, um, you know, you're good to go because you can run any test you want. So to learn more about running tests, go to my other video. I'll show you a little bit um, better about how that's happening. Um, and you are good to go. So good luck and tell me how your tests are going or if you run into any trouble, I'm happy to help you out. Thanks, bye.